Stage seven of the Tour de Suisse offered the general classification contenders a second opportunity to gain time on their rivals with a second successive summit finish, this time on the iconic Gotthard Pass. Egan Bernal of Team Ineos was in the leader's yellow jersey with a narrow lead of 12 seconds over world time trial champion Rowan Dennis with an individual test against the watch looming. A seven-man breakaway group were out front for much of the stage and were still in front approaching the final climb of three categorised ascents on what was the longest stage of the race at 216 kilometres. Cohen Bauman attacked to try and secure a second win in two days for Jumbo Visma before he was hounded down by local favourite Matthias Franck just under 10 kilometres from the line. Behind, the Movistar squad took over to set the pace in the group of favourites before Ben Swift upped the tempo for Team Ineos as Franck was finally caught. Henrik Maas of the Quick Quickstep was ahead briefly before Bernal finally struck inside three kilometres from the line, the 22-year-old race leader knowing that he needed to take more time from Dennis. Bahrain Merida veteran Domenico Pozzavivo tried to follow before he dropped back to pace teammate Dennis in pursuit of the flying Colombian. But there was no denying Bernal who took his first Tour de Suisse stage success 23 seconds clear of Pozzavivo and Dennis, with Patrick Conrad fourth ahead of Jan Hert and Teish Benoit. Bernal now has a 41 second lead over Dennis, ahead of the 19 kilometre stage eight time trial, with the Queen stage to conclude on Sunday. He's the world champion in the TT, and for sure tomorrow I will lose time with him. Uh, I hope to, to not lose too much time, but uh, we have another extra mountain stage. We will do our best and we, can, we will control what we can control and yeah, we will do our best.